Good morning. Yay, another day. We're at the end of our week. Whoa, yesterday. What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Oh, and I was happy to see some of you guys yesterday during our meeting. I'll see if we can do another one next week for those who aren't able to come in and join us. But it was nice to see everybody. All right, so let's see. Whoa, yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was the last day of April, right? Yes, the last day of April. So if yesterday was the last day of April, then today is the first day of May. Today is the first day of May, and today is just starting. The first day of May. Let's see. If um, April was the fourth month, what do you think May will be? Let's see. January, February, March, April, May. The fifth month. So we will write a five. Five, and it's the first day, and... 2020. So as we go through the weeks of May, we will see we will see if anybody has a birthday in May. And May, oh, like I told you on the first day of May, we're still going to see counting forward. How many days it'll be till we get to the last day that we will be learning online for school and we're going to start counting backwards. We're going to start counting backwards. All right, so first let's look at this number. 153, just like we've been doing. 153 plus one more equals, and what do we do? We look at the ones place. It's just like if we're adding three plus one. One, two, three plus one more. What does that equal? Four. So our number should be 153 plus 1, 154, 154. All right, so all we had to do was add in the ones place. So we can change our number, 154. That's how many days we have been learning since the very first day of school, right? Counting how many days of school. We can't say days in school because we're not in the school, but how many days of school since we left that last time. All right, so now we're gonna start counting backwards. We're gonna start counting backwards, okay? So 154, I'm going to tell you that, you know what, we only have 24. I'm going to put it over here. 24 days left. We have 24 days left of our school, of our online learning. Ugh, let me fix that word. Ugh, you're not all crooked. <laughs> 24 days left. Yes. So that means after today, we've got five weeks because there's gonna be one more week that has a holiday, but 24 days. So we're gonna be counting backwards, just like I had you practice yesterday, counting backwards. We're gonna be taking one away. So on Monday, when we come back, we're gonna take, we're gonna add, take one away from here. We're gonna add it over here, because that would be how many straws we would have left. And we're gonna add it over here. So every time we add one day here, we take one away from here. So we've got 24 days left, and we're gonna be counting down. All right, so yesterday we didn't review this because it was a math review yesterday, but our sight words, green, black, and purple, and I've been seeing some good sentences, right, that we had with purple and green, and black, we used that yesterday on, no, on Wednesday, when we were writing a sentence to unscramble, okay, and our vowel reviews, we'll be doing more of that next week, and Q and Y, Q is Q, Q, and Y, Y, Y. All right, and I know there aren't too many words that start with those letters or have those letters, but we still need to know their sounds, okay? <clears throat> and in our phonics review today, it'll be more like a reading review, I'm going to have sentences, and you're going to have to read the sentence and try to find the picture that matches, that tells about the sentence. So just like we matched the word in the picture last time by drawing lines last week, you're going to match the sentence to the picture. 
All right. Okay, so today our day two for um, day two for science. Yes. And yesterday we were talking about animals, different kinds of animals. And in the video, I told you a little bit more about mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and fish. So the five groups of animals, okay? And um, different different things that tell you about each animal and why they are in that group, in that group, okay? Well, today we're gonna look at how, how those animals move, because all animals can maybe move different, right? And what kind of body covering? We talked a little bit about that. And you learned yesterday that people, we are mammals too. We are mammals because we breathe air, Okay, and all living things, all living things need water, need air, need shelter, somewhere to stay safe, right? Okay, and um, and all living animals grow and change, and all living animals can have babies. They can reproduce, right? And, but they have in different ways. Fish will lay eggs, birds lay eggs, reptiles lay eggs, amphibians lay eggs, Mammals are the only ones that do not lay eggs. Our, our babies are born, are born, okay? They are born alive. And if the other animals lay eggs, once they lay the egg, their baby animal is still growing inside the egg, right? But mammals are the only ones where their babies are born, are born. All right, so let's see. Let's see what kind of body coverings animals can have. Let's scoot back again like we did yesterday. Move the camera back. All right, so yesterday we learned about these kinds of animals, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. I told you insects we'll do next week. They lay eggs too, but we'll talk more about them, okay? So let's look at how some of these animals move. Animals can move in a lot of different ways, a lot of different ways, okay? A lot of mammals can run or walk. They can run or walk, and um, some mammals can swim. Because whales and seals and dolphins, they can swim in the water, but they are still mammals, right? So that's another way that animals can move. They can swim. They can swim. Um, another way, what about these animals? How can they move? Can you tell? What are they doing? They can fly. So animals that have wings can fly. Yes, that's another way animals can move. Oh, look at frogs. Frog is amphibian. Frogs can what? Hop jump right hop and jump because that's the way they move but they can swim in the water too they can swim in the water so swimming so they can run they can fly they can swim they can hop different ways that they can move but you know animals have different ways that they eat a lot of mammals will have four limbs maybe four legs but like a bear their four, I mean, their two front legs, they use their claws. That's what helps them eat when they catch their prey. Lions, oh, mostly use their sharp teeth to tear and eat that meat, okay? Um, let's see, uh, sheep, rams, goats use their teeth, but they eat grass because they're an, they're plant eaters. Some animals are meat eaters and some are plant eaters. But like birds, how do they eat? With their beaks, with their beaks, okay? But other animals that eat meat, like bears and lions, they, um, they're meat eaters. They use their front paws or arms or feet to help them hold it down, but they might use their claws or their teeth to help tear through and eat that meat, right? But they can eat, they eat in different ways. Maybe a dog, they might use their teeth to chew, right? And a cat too. Now let's look at their body, look at their body, 
okay? And I had told you they've got different bodies, different coverings to help protect their body. We have, what do we have? We have some hair on our body, but our body is also covered with skin. The skin is what protects our body, protects our insides, right? Amphibians, like the frog and the salamanders, they have skin, but their skin is always wet. It's always wet. That's what's different from an amphibian and a reptile. Some animals have scales, scales, like a fish has scales, reptiles have scales. Other animals have feathers, they have feathers. Not all of them do, right? Reptiles and fish can have scales, only birds have feathers. Amphibians have skin, mammals can have skin, but also can have fur, like hair. Right. So in the video today, a little video telling you a little bit more about body coverings. All right. And there's going to be an activity in there for science. See if you can sort the animals by their body coverings, sort them by how they move, if they fly, if they walk or run, if they swim and other animals to see if you can sort them to which ones are mammals, which are reptiles, amphibians, um, birds and what was the last one fish <laughs> see if you can sort okay so today there'll be a little video about the coverings and like I said an activity three slides you're gonna be sorting the animals in three different ways just to review all right and next week we'll talk about the other group insects and we'll learn more about the insects all right so I hope you guys have a good Friday and a good weekend and you'll see me back on Monday. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot your check-in. I want you to write and type which one is your favorite animal. Of all your animals, what is your favorite animal? So put that in your check-in for today, your favorite animal. All right, guys, bye.